Hello YouTubers. In this video I'm going to show you an alternate way to flash your T-Mobile Touch Pro 2 with a different ROM. You will recall if you or maybe you don't recall because you didn't watch it but in my other videos where I have the it's titled real-time flashing of the Touch Pro 2 I show you that you connect your Touch Pro 2, which is right here, the phone, to your computer and you open up ActiveSync and make sure it's connected and synchronized. And then you run a program called RUU.exe. That stands for uh, ROM Update Utility.exe. That's, the, that's, the, that's what it means, ROM Update Utility and you run that through your your computer and then it upgrades the phone or updates the phone or installs a ROM because you're connected with your USB cable. The way I'm going to show you now is to update it on the micro SD card and the phone is not connected to the computer. Arguably this is a safer way to uh, update or install a ROM or flash the phone because you don't run the danger of the phone ringing or uh, any other activity going on if you're updating from the phone and it's basically disabled uh, if you um, are updating it from the phone itself if you're connected with your cable to your PC there the, you run a danger that anything can happen uh, on the PC or on the phone while it's updating uh, through various ways that that uh, you could brick your phone so that's why I think it's a it's a safer way to do this to um, uh, update it through the micro SD card but most everybody is using the RUU file, that ROM update utility, and uh, that's what everybody talks about. So uh, let me show you this other way, and you can decide uh, which way you want to go. The current state of my Touch Pro 2 you see in this video is it is unlocked. The, I, I ran at one time the program called Hard SPL. Once it's unlocked, you can install ROMs to your heart's delight uh, every day if you want to. I put on this uh, this ROM yesterday. Uh, I don't like it, so I'm going to install another one. So I thought, well, why don't I just show you the um, the alternate way of doing this? The, um, the basic method simply requires that you take your uh, ROM, your OS, whatever you want to call it, and you install it on your Touch Pro 2 micro SD card, that's a long phrase, but your micro SD card that's on a Touch Pro 2 here, you install it in the root directory, which is a fancy way of saying that whatever your drive letter when you have your phone connected to the computer, whatever that drive letter is, when you click it, let's say, uh, like on mine, it's it's P. Uh, let's see, I can see where it says P there. That's my that's my root directory right there at the top where it says removable device P. That's my root directory, and all those folders underneath that those are folders that are on the micro SD card okay so right there on P the root directory let's see I'm doing this from my display is right there you can see the P and then here are the various files that you saw here over here are the various files that are on there and this is just in a different view mode Okay. So what you do is you take your ROM file, 
that you're going to flash to the phone and you put it on your root directory. And so the um, way you do that, now let me do this first. I'm going to switch this to, uh, let's see if I can get difficult to look in. And I'm going to say, let's view this in details instead of icons and thumbnails. So here, I'm in my root directory, and all I'm going to do is click an empty space. I already have that ROM in clipboard. I've already went to my desktop up here and then I, I copied it. I clicked on the ROM, I copied it, and then I uh, that put it into clipboard. Now here I just click up a space and then I just say paste and now it is moving or it's copying that ROM that I will be flashing. It is putting that onto my micro SD card, which again is on this Touch Pro 2. And you can see the uh, cable down there. Okay. It's almost done. And you'll see that it'll appear down here at the bottom. See right here? And that window will close, and there it is. So this particular file, this ROM, is 157 megabyte. That's the one that I'm going to be installing. Now here's why this is safest, and well, I already discussed why it's safe, safest, but here's why it's super easy. All I'm going to do is disconnect my Touch Pro 2 from the computer, and I'll do that right now. Okay, I just disconnected the, or, or unplugged the USB connection, and now I'll take it out of my, uh, now it's disconnected from the phone. Okay, now it asks me if I want it. Okay, so that's it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll be entering certain commands, and I'll do this in part two. I'll be entering certain key commands on here. They're actually not uh, key commands, they're just pressing the hardware buttons. And I'll show you how it's done. Here's the coolest thing. You know how on the G1, it, you have to press all these like Alt W and Alt L and Alt S and all those things? This, you don't even open the keyboard to flash it, the, the method I'm going to show you right now. All I do is, is reboot it in a sense, but I'm pressing, I'm holding down certain keys, which I'll show you later, and it automatically installs the update, or the, the ROM, the flashing. Is that not, I mean, not, it doesn't get any easier than that. So I don't have to use Active Sync. I don't have to have my... Uh, uh, computer connected uh, to my Touch Pro 2. I don't have to do any of that. Okay, so let me sign off here because I'm getting towards the okay, end. Okay, YouTubers, I updated the name. I changed the name on the file that's the ROM. You have to do this to make sure that when you're uh, powering up the Touch Pro 2 that there's the uh, correct file name. Otherwise, the automatic uh, update screen won't show so um, you can see the name that I I renamed it this file that you see right here the 157 megabyte file that's the name the ROM has to be anytime you're doing a, what, we, what we call a micro SD flashing if we want to call it that the file has to be that name so uh, take note of that. Most of the developers and the ROMs, they are in this name, but once in a while you'll find one that uh, the developer uh, has a different name to it, which you, you saw in a previous video. So this is all easily fixed, and uh, 
Now I'll get on with the uh, flashing from the micro SD card.